doctor if the ivf fails how soon can you have the second ivf uh, done ivf failure is a very important thing that's happening now so not uh, everybody's first ivf is successful the success rate of ivf itself is around 30% and if the woman is above 40 years of age the success rate falls to as low as 11 to 12 percent oh my God. okay so that's why probably your question is quite significant as to uh, a couple may probably need more than one ivf cycle before they hit the jackpot and uh, according to studies it has been proven that uh, the more the number of ivf cycles the more the chances of success are so from 30 percent in the first cycle it can increase to 60 percent in six cycles wow uh, however we cannot go on doing ivf right because it's not only a financially draining situation IVF is really expensive so people really need to plan their finances and apart from that it can also be an emotional uh, journey for the couple so each time to having to face uh, IVF failure. failure itself is difficult so when an IVF fails it is better that the couple takes time to evaluate the reason for the failure along with their clinician and probably take the necessary steps to prevent another failure from happening and even if that takes a little more time than necessary it's better that they prepare for this journey on an emotionally uh, emotional level rather than you know just rushing into it with a lot of stress in the background you know saying that oh first cycle failed so now the second cycle is also likely to fail you know people generally if you rush in too fast you have that kind of a thought in your background however uh, as far as the technical point of view is concerned you can undergo an IVF cycle a second IVF cycle as early as the following month so say after a gap of one month you can get into the second IVF cycle but I think there are a lot of other things to consider not just the medical aspects of it huh? so that would be necessary mm -hmm. then apart from that I would also think that uh, uh, second IVF cycle is uh, I mean probably like you know so apart from that there are situations where in the very first IVF cycle some embryos are frozen and kept so you have transferred them in one cycle and they failed so the second cycle is only frozen thought transfer that we call so this is a much simpler case here you're not stimulating the entire uh, in the eggs of the woman you're not putting her through the entire range of injections all over again so this can be done again in the very next cycle so there is no need to wait for a very long duration